right into this reading all right um so let's get into this it's very very general everything you need to know about me booking your own reading all that stuff is down below if you're hearing everything in the background um it's raining so i did open my porch door just to let some of that energy in but yeah so aquarius let's get right into this y'all um yeah oh excuse me okay so we have the oracle of the mermaids i'm going to be using this in conjunction with the mystic um mystic martian oracle i'm going to be using both of those in conjunction here all right let me see what the message is for you guys today all right so let's go ahead and get right into this and let's see what's going on here for you guys aquarius so, all right, so let's go ahead and see what we have for the Aquarius Collective. Like this video on the way in as well, too. All right. Ooh. So, experiments. All righty. So, let's see what else we have going on. That is the number 13. And then we have the grays, which is aliens. Okay. This is the gray alien, aliens, the, the tall ones. This is the number 10. Ending of a cycle. So, number 13 and 10 could be significant. So, this could be somebody's birthday. All right. But we have utilitarian, organized, intimidating. The bottom of the deck here yeah well am i gonna do bottom of the deck no i'll keep it normal oh that rain is coming down y'all all right so aquarius right now there's some type of uh manipulation it says experiments let me show y'all this okay it says manipulation of nature forcing change cruelty in the pursuit of knowledge arrogance hmm the gray so utilitarian organized intimidating so off the rip me getting these cards here it looks like somebody here is in your energy somebody's cloaking themselves in your energy trying to somehow manipulate you or get information on you here i feel like they're keeping tabs on you or somehow this person trying to intimidate you here by but still keeping a, a low profile let's see what the situation is regarding i am going to pull some cards here to see what's going on is very interesting okay first card that we have is manipulating others i just said that okay so we're going to get uh nine cards out and let's see what's going on this is like really really interesting i might add we have club slash event really having like somebody's really having like having paperwork Paperwork, having money, having finances, having, you know, bank statements, you know, not perpetrating. Like, they really got it like that. Like, you know, somebody's big balling, okay? Okay, so we have weird sexual thoughts. Hmm. That's interesting. So, let's see. We have pure soul intentions, and then we have hiding a big betrayal. Let's go ahead and see what else we have here. All right, for the Aquarius, we have You're So Sweet. Mary Jane, I'm in love with Mary Jane. She's my main thing. She makes me feel right. She makes my, my heart sing. But yeah, vibing high, even when I'm feeling low. I don't know why Spirit gave me that song. That is the fucking song. Takes me to paradise. How I can hit me in or up. Okay, y'all. Like this video. It's going to be real general. If I say he, I can mean she. You know, the genders are neutral. Flip the story how, how you need to. It's going to be you doing this to somebody else. Somebody else doing this to you. If you're watching for an Aquarius or a cross watcher. Hey, how you doing? Like this video. Subscribe. Let's get into it. All right, Aquarius. So, somebody's manipulating other people here this could be at a club or an event or a gathering of some sort here it's giving three of cups three of pentacles energy okay yeah whoever this person is oh okay let's pull some cards here y'all we are going to be starting with the truth rising deck we're going to use that okay we're going to start with this deck here so why do we have manipulating others okay so somebody's in a very arrogant energy right now. So she devil, malicious or a spiteful woman here. Okay, so this is a woman who's manipulating other people here. All right. Whoever this woman is, can we get a Capricorn on her? 
Yeah, thoughts, and then we have the, the mature man card. So whoever this female is, she could definitely reign in her in her masculine energy. She could definitely be um, a Capricorn. I know she, that, that devilish energy makes me think of Capricorn, that the devil card here. Yeah, but whoever this female is, I don't see why she's manipulating other people here about how they think of her, how they view her, or um, all around her intentions. Because I just seen at the bottom of the deck, but we have setting intentions in the reverse. But it is here. I feel like she's trying to manipulate people of her intentions of what she is, you know, all about. I'm getting if it ain't. What's that movie called? All About the Benjamins? I'm getting paid in full vibes. I don't know why. Okay, um... So let's get into it. Whoever this female is, she's manipulating other people here, okay? But what is she doing to manipulate other people? Page of Wands, okay? So she could be traveling towards these people here. I'm getting she's been around the world. She's been around the block a couple of times. This is somebody here who's not a immature or a novice. She's more um advanced here. She's like an apprentice, okay? She is somebody here who she is a very, very good at manipulation, okay? Yeah, she could definitely be a fire sign or an earth sign here. We got the King of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Fool card. Yeah, we got the Page of Wands and the Page of Swords. So two pages here. Hmm. Well, she's manipulating a group of three to four people. Yeah, these could be... Okay, so whoever these people are, she's trying to manipulate. The reason why she's trying to manipulate them here is because she's trying to get some type of money. But um, I feel like she's throwing them underneath the bus. This could be regarding either a work situation here or somehow, some way or something working out for her. And she's somehow benefiting off of that. King of Wands. Then we got the Page of Pentacles here. All right. So she's about to somehow manipulate a whole bunch of people here. But I feel like this is somehow in, you're in the mix. Either you're one of these people here she's manipulating here. Okay. Or you could be the person on the outside looking in this Page of Pentacles. Okay. Um, heavy fire sign energy. Heavy earth sign energy. Heavy air sign energy. Don't really have any water at all. Yeah, but what's going on here? Um, whatever's going on at this club or an event could be like a party or whatever's going on. Somehow she wants somebody to do her dirty work for her or she's, she's using one person here. So she's using three people here. This page of wands. This is somebody here who's her errand boy or her lackey or her runner or errand girl. This is somebody here who she makes them, you know, I'm getting, um, she makes them travel or, you know, how you say, um, take her places or I'm getting somehow, some way, uh, not really spread the word because that's what this page of swords and this fool card is for. The fool watches over the page of swords. They both go spread the word about, you know, whoever this person is. I feel like people who think this person is all about money or working or all about you know getting things done but i feel like you know ruling with an iron fist is giving the rule of one for the rule of many okay like a, a dictatorship i feel like page of pentacles you could be the person here who somehow three of swords you know exactly who this person is and you're holding back your money your time your energy or just period from this person okay yeah i, I just feel like the person may even invite you out to a club or an event or something like that here but i feel like they have everybody underneath some type of spell or i'm getting they have everybody on a spiritual lock so they can tap into their energies read them or do whatever it is whenever they please except for you you're not giving this person the energy i don't know why it's giving the other mother of care on core line but you're not letting her sew the buttons into your eyes. You're not a part of the fantasy. Yeah. And she's trying to portray here. Because I feel like she she really has some type of money here. Or I'm getting she's really all about money. But she wants to see them as if she's really having. Whether it be hoes, money, sex, idols, you know, attention. Whatever it is here. But she does this. She acts very unethically because this is how she was raised here. Okay. And the people around her, I feel like they felt any for a spell. But what what is Aquarius supposed to be doing here? Let's get the energy, like Aquarius. What are we, what are you doing? What are you doing here? Okay, so spirit of the earth, you are sent by the ancestors here. Um, you are somebody who's very grounded here. You're very your nature. So yeah, you are the page of pentacles, like I thought. You're on the outside looking in. What is Aquarius's goal at this current time being here? Okay, Aquarius, your goal is to tear her down or start her karmic. Um, how do you say? her karmic pay, repayment plan okay you know how somebody calls and say hey this is your extended warranty on your car like yeah that's you but this is extended warranty on karma i feel like you're supposed to be coming into the equation here to somehow dismantle all the situations or all of this here it's all about you aquarius um this is a very interesting reading i didn't expect it to even look like this or be like this um 
yeah i feel like also there's some type of money or something that's going to be owed towards you or you're going to actually have by doing this here but this is one of the deeds here you have to do on your spiritual journey here to help out a whole bunch of people who either are somehow mentally skewed or i'm getting they're spiritually tapped so if they have any dreams or they ask to check or have any spiritual gifts or, you know, these are just regular people here. Whatever they're doing here, everyone, everywhere, every minute, okay? It's giving mad money. This person, they're all being watched heavily. But I feel like you're supposed to be the distraction here or you're the one who's supposed to be tearing this down. I'm hearing the word asunder. Yeah, you're supposed to be cleaning up this person's act here, helping the people involved heal. Um, you could be doing this on your healing journey as well, but all in all... You're supposed to be using your emotions here, okay? You're helping motherfuckers see through things with emotions. You're supposed to be bringing in your your healing waters, your forever waters here. Yeah, I feel like you are you may be thinking it's your bad news. They see you as bad news, but I feel like you're really good news. You know how Nicki Minaj says, cheer up. I'm your hero. You know, it's something like that. Yeah, because I'm getting you're not how people seem here. Your worth is being hidden at this current time, being here regarding the situation at hand. You're supposed to be giving this person their karma. I'm getting ending their reign. It's giving like... If you ever seen the movie of what is it called um with toto in it uh wizard of oz so it's giving you're the wizard you're you're in the movie wizard of oz you know these are all the different people here who under the ruling of you know the wicked witch of the west or whatever the fuck it is and you're dorothy so you're supposed to be helping these people okay it's giving an energy like that yeah, peace of mind. You're supposed to be helping them get peace of mind here. Okay, or restoring this balance somehow, some way. But this is on your um, point of view. This could be people that you work with. These could be people in your community, friends, family members. Somehow it's a group of people here. Somehow they're all reporting back to this King of Wands energy. This is definitely a female, but you see on here it's a male. Okay, and if this person could like to wear red a lot here, they could have red hair, red nails, wear red clothes, or something about red is of significance here. But whoever this page of wands who's doing all the traveling or you know who's always all underneath this person this is the person here that they may try to take you out like i said spider spirit it's all about transformation good luck protection this is what you're supposed to be granting here at this current time being to these people okay so you need to be aware of that because in this journey all right aquarius you're supposed to be helping them see through deception and envy or you're supposed to be destroying it i'm hearing total domination total world domination but in a positive way this what you're supposed to be doing it because this person is going in a negative way here yeah wisdom and i have spiritual union and i have new beginnings here okay because i feel like there's somebody these are there these are individuals here okay they are not going to be having their spiritual union with their higher level soulmates commitments or soul tribe or these could be people of your actual soul tribe here Something along the lines of that, either you're helping them with their mission here, or these are people who are part of your soul tribe, okay? You have the wisdom, you have the knowledge, you have the book, and you have unlocked material and spiritual prosperity, or you will, but I feel like you have to help them first get away from this temptation energy, okay? Or from whoever the fuck this person is. Let me show y'all that this is like the third confirmation. We got 15, we got this, and then we got this. These are all the same cards to me here. If I can pick it up, my damn nails are so long. These are like all the same cards, but just different look, in my opinion. Okay, they have to be saved here. Yeah. Cruelty in the pursuit of knowledge. Like, I, like this is just like cruelty to everybody involved in pursuit of her own material value, uh, the knowledge, the book, you know, the spiritual rights, the information, the spell work. You know, the list goes on. This is something here that you're going to have to dismantle here. You're going to be having to work towards it here. Let's go ahead and get you one of these cards as well, Spirit said, Grab one of these. So we have Earth Element. Okay, so like I said, this person could be a fire sign or an earth sign here. But however, you're in your earthly energy, so definitely in your feminine energy. But this person you're going up against is in their mask okay um yeah these are all masculine ma um masculine individuals whether they're men or female they're all masculine you're the only feminine energy here yeah what card is, do we have going on here so we have the third eye so i feel like your third eye you you can possibly have visions okay you're definitely either tapped in your intuition's tapped in like i said you know how to manifest and meditate here the number 38 could be significance but this is you all right, this is what you're supposed to be helping them open their third eye. Yeah, you literally at the bottom of the day, 
it says Vasika Pisces. Okay, it says divine feminine birthing fertility. You're helping these people go through some type of rebirth here. This is your this is your next journey or your next mission. Or this could be currently what you're on. The number thirty eight and thirty nine could be a significance here. That somebody's going to be somebody's birthday. Okay, that you're somebody passed over or reincarnated, whatever it may be. Okay, but that's what you need to be worried about or working on right now. Okay, or you, that will be coming up. Okay. Also. Let's go ahead and get right into it here. Somebody is having weird sexual thoughts about you, Aquarius. But I feel like you have a very pure soul. And you have very pure intentions. I'm getting you're a pure individual. They're trying to figure out if there's any um, grime or smut or nastiness. Or I'm getting pleasurable energy or some type of desirable energy regarding you. Whoever's person is, they're hiding a big betrayal though. But these weird sexual thoughts. Let's go ahead and pull some sexual cards here. All right, Aquarius. Let me see if I have any in this deck good god okay so let's pull some actual sexual cards here i'm gonna try to pull two from here okay so this person could definitely be having weird sexual thoughts here about your breast okay so this person could be of the same sex different sex whatever it is or whatever they want to do to that area of the body they could be having weird thoughts regarding that but yeah this person feel like you may have perfect breast here or your breast could be a significance they may like you know if your areolas are dark or you know if you know you have the perfect perky breast or whatever it may be somehow some way this person has some type of whatever yeah stop spending money i don't know how this came out so this person may want to spend money on you here okay to somehow um suffice or you know to please them sexually here they could be wanting to spend money or give money towards you but I, it says i didn't believe in this union okay so uh, that kind of threw me off here then at the, at the back we have this is my dick okay so if you're masculine you know they're possessive over you if you're feminine they want you to be possessive over them or you probably were okay but it says i didn't believe in this union so i feel like this person didn't believe in you or you coming together or they didn't think that would ever be a reality um this could be something that's a fallacy i'm getting their dirty little fantasy here like or their you know their little dream world or whatever it is make it these cards yeah this is how they think about you here like i said you're a pure individual so they never even thought about you know you even having that side here what it said you're shining i feel like you're a shining star they wouldn't even think that you would dim your light or you would either shine that way or shine that brightly or you know even go that way or be that much of a deviant here okay but you know aquarius i'm not trying to be funny but you guys are perverts here not in a bad way i'm not saying like in a bad way but i'm saying perverts you know aquarius are freaks um every aquarius man or female that i've met is a freak okay um they're willing to try anything once i would definitely say that yeah whoever this person is they may want to do a deep naked tissue massage here i'm getting they just want you and their body or they don't want you to do this towards them or vice versa these are their thoughts what's going on in their actual head here okay yeah what is this we have phone sex this person may definitely i'm getting the smallest thing turns them on about you here this could be somebody here who's from your old life or from your past okay or, or knew about you in your past this person could be seeking advice on what to do regarding the situation here okay or what to do regarding you all right um yeah so i didn't expect that to even this reading is just keeps surprising me okay these could be situations that are surprising you but this person's having weird sexual thoughts about you okay um let's get a card on this actual person here we got two so uh, andromedas okay so uh, autom i can never say this word autonomy uh, i can never say the word autonomy i hope i'm saying it right but i feel like it's not free will manifestation like i said you have free will however this person is just definitely getting into your free will they could be manifesting you whether sexually physically or whatever it is this person could also be fair skin light skin or olive skinned here it says the number 20 tall white this person is um also somebody you shouldn't really trust Okay, I thought you could be guarded against this person or, you know, they are towards you. But I feel like you are uncertain about them. You may not trust them here, but I feel like you have your own free will. You do your own thing. And this is somebody who likes to conquer, conquest, you know. This is somebody here who is not really to be trusted. I feel like, like I said, you have a pure soul. You have pure intentions. You are pure hearted. You know, everything is coming from your heart and you mean well. But this person is hiding a very big betrayal. What is What the fuck is this betrayal about here? Okay, so what is this betrayal regarding? Where are my tarot deck? Okay. So what is this a big betrayal that they're hiding here from the Aquarius? Okay, what is this about? Thank you, Spirit. 
All right, so with the world card and the empress card, okay, so wonderful. You're the empress or emperor if you're a man. And then we have the star card, Aquarius. Here you are. Clarify the world card here. We have the six of wands, okay. I was going to say empress, but we do have the two of pentacles. Last card. I love this deck, y'all. Like, in um, three of cups. Hmm. Get some energy. Where, where my deck? Let's get some energy around the situation here. So I try to decipher this. If you do hear anything? My bad. That's the kids outside. Okay, so I don't like. It's like what's going on right here. Yeah, with the world card, just the ones. There was some type of um old situation that happened or some type of past situation that happened here but i feel like you were supposed to be closing out some type of cycle here and have some type of moment of success however i feel like you know the land was fertile everything was in the right place with the empress card but i feel like somehow this person was either being two-faced towards you here i'm getting somehow some way situation you were supposed to prosper in or celebrate i feel like it was only supposed to be for you but there ended up being somebody else who you have to share this with here or some type of third party here that was joining in on your situation. Yeah, I found the star card here in the Empress. I feel like you manifested something here. But somehow, some way, your manifestation was somehow bypassed or it was manipulated or infiltrated here with the with the star card. I'm getting like you were trying to heal yourself, heal the situation, or, you know, I'm going to keep your hope up despite you having to share your spotlight or share something that was rightfully yours with somebody else. Yeah, whoever this person, I feel like you got paid to play like a dummy, like a follower, or I'm getting you were clueless to what the fuck was going on. You were seeing this week here, so you had to spread your pie or whatever it is. Yeah, Swan's card, like somebody was trying to be you or somehow embody your energy or something that was supposed to be rightfully yours. It was a big betrayal going on. I feel like you thought you were getting something, but you only got half of it or one fourth of it here, even though you did all the work or something. What is this? Yeah, ancient wisdom. So there's some type of rebirth that's happening here. 13 and 31. It's just giving two different parallel timelines or two different people here. Yeah, this betrayal was it's all because of the way you look, the way you talk, the way you walk, or who you are. Also, there was magic involved here. Some type of magic voodoo or binding spells or something like that here spiritual or physical manipulation there was some type of manipulation going on here heavy on the magic okay this is the second confirmation of that yeah let's get a word yeah the worst time for this that just came out and it says sexual tension building up okay so there, there could have been a, a, a big betrayal here this morning could have had like a whole bunch of sexual um tension what is this i know i'm picking up on two betrayals here open season oh i don't like this i don't like this so there could have been some type of uh celebration success rewards something that was supposed to be rightfully yours this could even have been a person okay or some type of offer that was on the table could have been sexually or romantically or whatever it was but i feel like you being the empress you manifested this person a situation or whatever it is but somehow it was infiltrated or you were somehow sidelined somebody could possibly embody your energy or try to duplicate you or your manifestation or whatever it is here like a third party yeah i feel like yeah i think you're fake there's somebody here who thinks you're fake here versus fake versus real you ever seen those tv shows and it's like which one of you guys is the real deal and the person like i'm this and it's like well you would what would this person say if this was the real the real ashley or the real whatever like it's something like that so somebody was trying to impersonate you here it was a big betrayal because I feel like somebody chose the wrong option or the wrong person or gave something or had sex or did something here with the wrong person and double back towards you. Or maybe you were first and then they somehow somebody was juggling you here. Person was having weird sexual thoughts about you. They were juggling you. But somehow I'm getting you didn't even know it. Like Either you didn't even know or I'm getting like you you couldn't care less. You couldn't care less. Yeah. Wow, this kind of just blew my head like that. 
Okay, yeah, soft spots. Somebody knew it was open season on your ass, but I feel like somebody was going towards your soft spots. This could be somebody here you had sex with, you care for, or an old flame or old lover, or somebody like that here who was yours. I feel like somebody, what they did was they mirrored your energy. We got 13 and 30, 31, the same thing, different ways, giving parallel timelines here, parallel things. You have a second confirmation here with the two swans. Somebody wanted to embody your grace, your elegance, your poise here, and I'm getting your pure intentions and all that stuff here, but I'm getting you were a dummy. You are used as a dummy here. Yeah, because with the world card and the six of wands, yeah, karmic cycle. I feel like you didn't fall for some type of karmic cycle here. And somebody here kept that shit going or they did. Yeah, patient and planning. This was definitely planned out. Or this was just regarding type of... So the, you were supposed to be in a cage here. You're supposed to be caged up and going through a heavy emotional loss or having your feelings hurt. But I really feel like you did not fall for it or somehow you didn't know about it or you weren't involved. Um, as in, like, you know, this trap was there, but somebody else ended up getting set in the trap. Even the person who either said it or, you know, somehow like a doppelganger or something like that. Yeah, I don't know what I'm hearing who said, who said, like, yeah, with, with the Empress card here. What is this? Yeah, this is all for money. We got the Star card twice. This is all about money. I feel like somebody had uh, uh, money and sex, sex and money, money and sex, sex and money. Somebody, somebody somehow crossed these um hairs. I feel like you look sexy, you look good, whatever. Somebody couldn't take you down. Somebody couldn't stop your material harvest. There was no way somebody could possibly find your Achilles heel. And you know how one thing about Hercules, his Achilles heel was that girl Meg. He liked her. She liked him. It's giving the energy like somebody did some shit like that. Like they slept with you and act like they was fucking with you or whatever. And they actually slept with somebody behind your back. I have 3333 three, three, three here. Okay, you could be seeing that. Yeah. It's like somebody still was trying to be around you to celebrate here. I'm getting you have to somehow split the prize, or split the all finger. I don't know, this is very it's not irritating. I want to say interesting, irritating, and somehow intriguing at the same time. Yeah. Like imagine you winning a pie. Somebody wanted to win the pie, but they couldn't figure out why or how. So they somehow bribed the judge here to have it as a tie. And you guys have to split the pie down the middle. But the only thing is that you don't know that they're bribing the judge. Like, that's the only way I know to, like, explain it so you guys can understand what I'm saying. But, like, the person who's having weird sexual thoughts about you, I'm getting, like, you never even slept with them. And even, yeah, I feel like you never slept with them or you never touched them or sexed with them or did anything with this person. The person, they, they really fucking like you. They're really obsessed with you. They really want to fucking touch you and all that shit. But I feel like they went for somebody else who was trying to copy your energy or copy you or be like you or whatever the fuck it was. And that was a big betrayal to you on your part here because I feel like whoever this person was, they used this person because they knew how they felt about you. You didn't know, but this person knew. Yeah. That's crazy. Last card. Last card. We're moving on to the last deck here. Fetish slash kink. Okay. Like I said, this person has a certain fetish or slash kink here that you have. Okay. That you, that you have or you possess or whatever it may be. Yeah. Yeah, Aquarius. But I'm getting this whole betrayal is hidden because it's like the trap was really for you or somehow you were supposed to be going down. I'm hearing it wasn't supposed to be like this or, you know, I didn't know or I didn't realize or, you know, I thought this, I thought that. But like I said, somebody has like a weird sexual kinks and fetishes and shit they have about you and, you know, but I'm getting you're such a pure individual. They just wanted to like... I'm getting dirty you up like oh my god you're you're such a fucking goddess in the street but a fucking sexual deviant in the sheets good god like you know what i'm saying but somehow they took some other bait that was planted or some type of other closet it all for they thought it was going to help them more or whatever it was that shit is weird Aquarius. let's get some cards here and then this this big betrayal in question here spirit um yeah what is this give me some cards yeah i just feel like this was overworked here somebody here was playing both sides here but somehow they got a work that they got you know dumped on 
somebody feel like playing basketball i feel like also you could have been judging yourself or trying to figure out why something wasn't working out or why this why that all right for somebody but like inconspicuous this third party was all this shit is black and white like i said it was magic involved it was manipulation involved okay but but i feel like you're a pure motherfucker here you could have been judging yourself but you're a pure motherfucker or there could have been glamour spill work or magic or some type of attraction spill to to somehow rotten you or sour you here it was going on i'm getting to make somebody feel like you know that they would be a better option or they're the real you yeah heavy magic heavy evil eye and shit like I said, this could have been like some same sex shit, okay? Yeah, this is past life karma. So I thought this is, this happened in, in the previous past life. Either this happened in the previous past life as well too, with a couple of different scenarios here, okay? Somebody who's a hustler who, who couldn't get what they wanted here, so they went adverse to do something else. Damn, <coughs> shit! Damn, Aquarius, this is crazy. But it's like you never knew that person was there. You never knew what they were doing the whole time until after the fact. Anyway, let's get into the next one. So, Aquarius, people are saying that you're so fucking sweet right now. You're giving off this sweet energy. You're vibing extremely high. You are, like, giving off, you know, um, the pheromone, all right, um, or whatever it is. I feel like you're so sweet. You're vibing high right now. You look so good. You taste even better, all right? You're, um, you're, I'm getting your smell, whoever you are, your energy, whatever your light is intoxicating. It's other real. It's um, vibrant. It's definitely grandiose. It's amazing. You are amazing, okay? And, you know, but what's going on right now? Somebody is hiring a hitman or a or Hiring one of your enemies right now just because of this or just period. All right. Whoever this person is who's hiring a hit a hitman or or one of your enemies on you, this person is only doing this here because they feel like they need to clean you up. I'm getting they need to take you out to dry or set you out to dry here. I feel like you've already seen this sign here. There could have been some type of sign here. I feel like magical clearing space time for you to spiritually protect yourself. All right, either they're doing a this so this is all spiritual. Either they're getting a spiritual hitman or they're trying to see somebody who's your opposition here or somebody who's a spiritual hater. They're hiring this person against you. Yeah, I feel like also there's a spiritual guide here. Somebody who's going to provide a miracle this is one of your ancestors or spirit guides here they're going to also give you some type of blessing and miracle here but they know this is going on here they're telling you to count your blessings okay i'm getting you're going to need to be counting them okay yeah i'm getting you're doing this right now and you're looking all sweet and good and sexy and handsome and all this shit. and this is what's going on Let's get a card. I don't know why I'm hearing that song. You got star. What Nicki Minaj say? You got some. You you got spunk. You you got something all the girls want. Um, your love, your love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you. Just left money. Mm 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 mm. I mean that nigga must be from the motherland. Like you know. When I was a gay shit, he was a samurai. Like. I just got chills singing that shit just now. Chills from my head to my feet. That song is of significance here. And Nikki is a Sag, by the way. All right, by the way, what'd he say? He can tell I ain't missing no meals. Come through and check in my automobile. Okay, let him eat it with his grill because he let my sister kill. <sighs> so we have Naga. So number 14, lovers, erotica, sensuality. So like I said, motherfuckers want to be your lover. They want to be your friend. Um, I'm getting serpentine energy, but not in a negative way. Um, you know, serpents are wise. They're sexual. They're, you know, everything. And then some. I feel like that's you. 777, seven, seven, you could be seeing that. But yeah, you're you're giving off this erotic, sensual, um, swooning energy, okay? Yeah. Let's get one last card here. For the Aquarius or the situation. Okay, we got two. So we have star C, self memories, identity. I feel like and it's all because of who you are. And then we have Tau sentience, resilient, bold, and sassy. So I feel like you embody all these different qualities into one. You know, mind, body, and soul. These are all your different energies. Whoever this person is who's hiring a hitman or op, either they're a reptilian, this person's a, pet a predator. I don't know. I'm going to say pedophile. I was going to say pedophile. So they could be hiring somebody who's a pedophile, a predator here, or somebody here who's, you know, tyrannical, okay? It's like, you know, how do you say a reptilian? The top of the deck, we have air element, okay? So like I said, you are an Aquarius, you're an air sign. This could be another Aquarius here. I'm getting they're hiring this person here to somehow discriminate against you here or use your own philosophies against you, okay? Or somehow ruin empathy here. I'm like, what the fuck? 
Okay. That's just period. But I feel like you have to have a meeting co collaboration or I'm getting you have a lot of shit going on in the community or whatever's going on here. I feel like motherfuckers know what's going on with you. Like, yeah, you that, you that motherfucker. Okay, so the person who's hiring a hitman on you, let's see what's going on. Damn, that was three. So the person who's hiring a hitman, they have tattoos here. to somebody who's in their feminine energy. They like a lot of nice clothes. They spend a lot of money here. Or they live, they, they want to live the good life. They, this person who tries to make it sound like they're fancy or they got a lot of money or they live good or they straight or they well off or, you know, they're keeping up with the Joneses. They got the newest house, the car, the bag, the shoes, the clothes, the belt. Okay, but this person here, either they're always in the shadows here or they don't want to be seen. It's somebody here who now you see them and now you don't. Okay, they can, oh, they have definitely tattoos here. Specifically, either on their hands, their neck okay either they have them on their hands or neck also person may wear a watch or an apple watch or something like this on their left arm something wearing something on their left arm they may possibly wear um hats here or wear um high heels okay something like that this person this is a person here who's getting the, the somebody to do magic on you here i mean to to get a hitman on you i'm tripping Spiritual, spiritual hitman, of course. Yeah, partnership and alliance here. And then we have truth. Okay, so you could have definitely terminated this partnership or friendship you have with this person because they're a liar. Okay, or they lied to you before. All right, there's somebody here who's lied to you before. You found out they're a fucking liar that can't be trusted and you sacrificed them. Yeah, I feel like love begins to triumph and success. Somebody here who you could have possibly wanted to take to the top. Okay, or wanted to fuck with this person or wanted to have a harmonious situation with them, but they lie too fucking much or they can't be trusted. So you have no choice but to move on from this person because spirit spirit told you to do that. I'm hearing I digress. That's just period. This is why you don't fuck with them because they're a liar. And they've been proven to be a liar multiple times. I feel like whoever this person is, they go between their masculine and their feminine energy. It's giving butch vibes here. They don't have to be LGBTQ, but it's giving um feminine. They have a couple feminine traits here. They could have um a wounded feminine yeah, but whoever this person is, I feel like they, they, they need to definitely um battle their shadow self here. But they always the shadow self when they could possibly have a mental disorder or they're always in mental conflict here. That's why they're always by themselves. Because they don't have a foundation or they don't have that many achievements like everybody else or as many as you. Okay. I'm hearing read the room. It's somebody here who reads the room and, you know, they feel like they don't belong so they disappear. They could do this a lot either at functions or, you know, whatever it may be. All right, but yeah, this this is this, this is oh, I can't even talk. This is the person. Let's get a car here for this person here in question who's hiring the actual fucking hitman or your op. Okay, yeah, I have try again. So like I said, they've either done this before. I mean, they're trying again to get back at you. You cut them off for being a liar. All right, cause they felt really fucking with your sacral chakra. I'm getting you got their ass up. Okay, their ass is grass. Now they're trying again to go against you, but they this is not gonna work. Sorry, try again. It's not working here. Yes, it's water over slash under the bridge here they're acting like everything was cool with you here you thought everything was cool but nah this person ain't mm -mm. doing a background check like i said this person may not even be able to pass the background check and even if they are i feel like this person trying to dig up dirt on you but they couldn't find anything so that's that's why they hiring one of your ops or hit man that's just period <sighs> what is the plan here for the aquarius what time is, matter of fact what time is it while i'm doing this it's 8 37 so five of pentacles here yeah with the moon card i feel like this person could be outside on the co on, um outside looking in or i feel like when it was fucking with you once upon a time that's what i'm getting when it was fucking with you once upon a time and you cut them off online doing all that shit there was somebody here who uh when you leveled them up they wasn't really fucking with this person they could have been like oh you're not fucking with me no more you act you like you too good or you fucking with them now and da 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 and this person was on the outside looking in but then once you cut their ass off online and shit they went back and they was fucking with that person again i'm telling y'all this was spirit showing me they was going back and they was fucking with this person again and when they was fucking with them again they somehow made the plan because like i said everything was water underneath the bridge here you told them like yeah um you know it's no, it's no really hard feelings so you really didn't give a fuck you just told them they was a liar or they can't be trusted or whatever and that was the end of that right yeah that's just period but this person is slimy Okay, this person is a cold-hearted, cold-blooded motherfucker. Okay, this person is a motherfucking predator or pedophile. Somebody here, survival of the fittest. They do whatever it is to survive here. This person could be a Leo. We got Leo. We got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo vibes. Okay, either this is the person here or this is the person they was fucking with. Okay, um, 
But yeah, tower card. This is going to end badly for them. Because they want to cause you a tower here. So they're like I said, these motherfuckers don't know how to feel, whatever it is. Six of Pentacles, they want you to give and take it. They feel like you owe them something here with the Devil card. These motherfuckers are somehow bound karmically together, the person that they're working with here, with the Two of Cups here. But I'm getting, they love that, show, that shit. I'm hearing the Kanye West song, you're such a fucking hoe. I love it. You know, the one where he had that big ass shirt on, the big ass pants and shit. I believe Lil Durk was in the song. I may be wrong. Okay, but yeah, Five of Wands, they're coming to bring you some type of chaos or conflict here. But it's not going to fucking help at all. Seven of Cups, you're going to be getting some type of new opportunities where I'm getting. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, you're going to glow up times ten in their face. I'm getting, this is their wish of filming here to get all your money or take all this from you or somehow. It doesn't feel like who you think you are trying to somehow act like you're shitting on me or tell me that I'm a liar or I'm slimy or I can't be trusted or I'm a reptile or whatever. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show them. And then whoever the fuck they was working with anyways, this person will do anything for cheddar or just do anything, period. Somebody could be from New York, California, Tennessee. Okay, so my name can start with the with the letters R, S, W, T, L, V, okay, um... What else? That ain't okay. That's it. R already. A. Y. Okay. Somebody's ancestor or somebody's birthday, something like that, could have been 1932, 1966, 1978, 1931. Those dates could be significant. 1942. Okay. 1968. But that's what's going on there. Okay, of course, you just be aware of this, whoever this person is. But I feel like it's not really going to work. But these motherfuckers here, they're coming together here to, to take money from you. That's just period. But I will see you all later. Bye.